The Mechanic, 1972. An aging hitman befriends a young man who wants to be a professional killer. Eventually, it becomes clear that someone has betrayed them. Directed by Michael Winner. Written by Louis John Carlino. Released December 14th, 1972. Tagline, clean, fast, and professional. Here's the cast. Charles Bronson as Arthur Bishop. Jan Michael Vincent as Steve McKenna. Keenan Wynn as Harry McKenna. Jill Ireland as The Girl. Linda Ridgway as Louise. Frank DeCova as The Man. And the cast goes on. Here is a classic from Charles Bronson that I've never seen. Of course, I've seen Death Wish and later films. Now, if I'm mistaken, there is a remake called Mechanic. I think it's the same film. I have not seen the, re- the, the remake. But Charles Bronson is a hitman. Okay, it starts off with him uh, planting, you know, bombs and stuff. And then a friend of his father, played by Keenan Wynn, uh, needed his help. But it turns out that he is his next target. Well, his son, Keenan Wynn's son, uh, played by J. Michael Vincent, Steve, is a very peculiar kid. And he wants to be a hitman. So Charles Bronson takes it upon himself to train him to be a hitman. Well, in those days, when you're a hitman, you don't take it upon yourself to train somebody. So now, basically what happens is, uh, when one of Charles Bronson's hits, he ended up being the person that's going to be the, the hit. And, of course, J. Michael Vincent's with him. And uh, they escape. But this movie has an incredible ending. And I'm not going to say what it is. I don't want to ruin this film. But for a Charles Bronson film for 1972, before the Death Wish series starts, the same director, Michael Winner, as Death Wish, this is a very different Charles Bronson film. I enjoyed it, especially the ending. Uh, I'm a big Keenan Wynn fan, as you know, from my list. Uh, of course, Bronson is my favorite actor. Th- this is one of these early 70s gems, in my opinion, as far as Charles Bronson. I love his characters. Uh, I don't love all the films as much as each one, of course. But this one is, to me, still holds up today. Uh, again, there is a remake called a Mechanic, but I've not seen that and probably never will because I'm a Bronson fan, so you can't top anything from 19, from the 70s. So there you go. Uh, the Mechanic, 1972. If you have not seen it, definitely check it out, because Charles Bronson is at his best, and it's different for him. And John Michael Vincent was great. Keenan Wynn, of course, was great. And Joe Ireland, uh, a great actress as well. So there you go. The Mechanic, 1972. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give his film a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.